This is Mia from Mima Design Laser Files and I'm really excited to show you this new affirmation spinner from Mother's Day. You can use this for something else if you'd like. Uh, you can change out the text and use one of the other wheels that I have available in countdowns and affirmations and just adjust them to whatever you like. So. <clears throat> When you get the files, these are all the materials that you're going to use or what I'm going to use at least uh, to paint and assemble my spinner. Uh, you can assemble them in other ways than I do and also you have the freedom of painting it however you want. I'll be painting mine with watercolor. I'll not go into details because I already did another uh, tutorial on how to paint realistic flowers using watercolor. So I'll paint it, speed up the video and you can go watch the other tutorial if you'd like to learn. Also uh, I rounded these flowers and just to show you really quick, it's mentioned in the other tutorial as well, I just used some rough sandpaper to kind of go downwards the edges. This time I use this tiny piece to go in between and I used a fine sand foam brush thing, whatever it's called, to smoothen it down. When you get these files, it will come with fronts and the flowers for layering. All the flowers are marked with A, B, so they are easy to assemble. You'll also have a bagger. You can choose this one with a hanger, or you can choose a simple round and apply magnets on the back. The wheel will look like this, and it's important once you've cut your files that you sand the wheel, not this inner part, but you want to keep this. So sand the wheel on both sides because you want to remove a little bit of material to make it slide better inside the spinner. This inner piece you want to be a little thicker than the wheel itself. So when assembling, I'll be using clamps to kind of lift mine, so not clamp stables, um, but you could apply a piece of um, cardboard or some thinner material or maybe use 3M tape. I've read that some people do that and apply 3M on both sides of this because this is what will hold the actual ornament or magnet together. So to get back to the painting, I'll paint mine really quick. I'll be staining my front as well as the back and I'll use a metallic marker to go over some of the details. My wheel for this one will be kept natural, so I'll have two colors for the actual ornament. But I'll go ahead and watercolor paint my flowers and speed up this video. So this was the filming of my little magnolia flower. I assembled it and I will wait until it's dry to see if there are some details that I want to go in and fix. But this took 13 minutes, so it's not that bad. And as I said, if you want to see how I paint these and learn from it, I have another tutorial to show you that. Next up, I'll be staining the front and the back of my ornaments. So to paint this I'll be using some dark grey uh, stain I have. You can use any color but I just think this will go well with my flower paintings. So I'll use a foam brush and kind of dab the stain into the engraving because that will darken the engraving as well as you might see now. 
so make sure that all the engraved area is covered and that it's pushed down because you don't want something of it to be tied and like there's something that didn't have stain in it. So make sure to push it down really hard and once again I'll speed up my video and you can just watch the process. So I'm done staining and this took three minutes. I'm not quite done yet because I want this to have a washed look, a farmhouse style-ish. Um, so I have to wait for my stain to dry or at least soak in to my material and I'll show you that. So after five minutes my stain is now dry enough uh, to continue and what I want to show you because I had a lot of uh, questions on how I made this kind of washed gold look on uh, this box. I'll show you how. Um, so first off, you want a piece of scrap or something else that you can apply some paint to. I'll be using gold again, and this is my acrylic paint, gold color. It's bought in Denmark, sorry, so I don't know if you can get this, but you could probably get something equal to it. So I'll just pop up a uh, little uh, and you want to use an old worn out brush. This is a very soft brush but as you can see it's great at spreading. So I'll take apply some on the end of the brush and just kind of dab it on my scrap material and once I feel like it doesn't dab on too much I'll go back to my ornament, just test it inside here and that's great. And then I'll just dip around the ornament like this Strokes. and make a few upside down, apply a little more and you might see that I'm taking paint from this and not the paint that I placed, so I'll just tap a little more and now I probably need a little more paint and you just keep continue doing this until you feel like you have the results that you're looking for if you're not sure how to do this you could start by practicing on the back and then you can could take the front afterwards. So the flowers will be layered on top of this one. So I'll just focus on everything outside these gold marks. <clears throat> also for this inner part that will be showing the text, I'll angle my brush a little and see if I can somehow enhance this area, the gold. Also, I'll be applying a little on the edges by just angling my brush once again and go down like this. So this is a very small but beautiful detail that could enhance your project. And for both this and the flowers, you don't have to put in as much work as I do. But I really think that these small details are what will bring your product to the next level. And you'll be able to earn a little more from them. So it's up to you how much you want to work on this. But I definitely think it's worth it. So this was the front and because of the lights, you might not see it as pretty as I do, but this is gorgeous. Hopefully you can see it on the pictures that I'll be taking. 
So for the back, I'll just do it a little quicker and a little more random. And with a little more gold than on the front. So I'm just kind of wiping it on the back. But when you're using a soft brush like this, you'll be able to make this effect. So the hanger I want to get a little more gold on top of and also these edges. So if you were to just make a Christmas ornament or something like that, you could use this method too. It's gorgeous. I might want to take a little more on top of the front. Mm, and I think I'm satisfied. So this process took five minutes with me explaining it on the side. So let's leave this to dry. I can just place my flowers on top so you can see the actual result. And then I'll get back to you on how to assemble it and a few small details on the hanger and on the wheel. So my acrylic gold now dry and it's on to the assembling. I'll just start by gluing my flowers on top. You could do that after the ornament is assembled, but it's pretty fast and easy to do. So I'll start there. I'll take some super glue because it's fast drying. Just add a little. And you see on the ornament you have B and you have A. So this is the B flower and obviously it will go on top of B. So make sure that you align it to the scored lines as well as this edge. And again, you can do this now or you can do it once you've assembled the spinner. So that's B. I'll then take the leaf. And if you're using super glue like me, you have to make sure that you're aligning this perfect the first time. I usually use wood glue for stuff like this because it allows me to get a little bit of movement. You don't get much time with the Super clean. So the last flower, and again, this is the A flower. It's also indicated where this one goes. So you just glue that one on top and align it to this part. And now you just have to glue the top of the flower on top of the base. So this one is the B flower. And again, you have scored lines to indicate where it goes, but also it will align on top with the B flower and also A flower. So the flower. And so this is the front one. And I actually wanted to show you that if you want to make this faster and easier, you can. This one was painted with the alcohol ink markers. It kind of faded because alcohol ink isn't perfect for painting this. I don't know if you seal it, if it will uh, keep the color longer, but I'm not super satisfied about this. Also, you might see the difference 
from the rounded edges that I did on this new piece versus this one. So you can easily make your flower and your paintings quick and fast like this, but I much rather pay a little extra for something like that. So that's up to you. But back to something. So you take it back and face it the right way. I want to add a little extra detail on the hanger, so I'll grab a gold color, the metallic marker. This is an acrylic paint pen as well. So I'll just go around this hanger. If you're using the magnet version, you obviously, obviously don't have a hanger. And also I want to paint this lever. So like that. And I want to paint back of it as well, since this will be visible. Like that. And you might even take the edges if you want. I'll just do these quick so I can get on with the rest of the tutorial. But now you have a metallic looking lever instead of the wooden one. And this is a two end marker, so I'll take the finer tip and go down to the edge. So that's it. So for assembling uh, assets, you want to place your wheel and this one will start with you. Um, it is. This one you want to keep a little bigger than what so I'll take some wood glue. I use Wiener Wheel. It's an Italian brand, but you can use any. So you just apply a little bit like this and place it in the center. And now to add a little more thickness to this inner part, you could glue some cardboard on top. But what I do is that I use a stapler. So this is a stapler bought in my local hardware store. I'm using 4mm poplar plywood and I'm using uh, 6mm staples. This one. So I'll just randomly give it a few staples here. And this just helped me lift my material just a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it did. So on top, you want to add some glue as well. And you want to add glue on top of the staples. So make sure that you don't get glue too close to the edge because then your ornament will be stuck and then you just place the front like this you want to align this text frame to the hanger and not your wheel because you could have slipped it so it's aligned here and i'll just grab some clamps to hold it down so i have these you can get these from amazon again these are from my local Hardbuster, and you'll just place them on top and wait for everything to dry. Once it's dry, take your uh, lever and give it a turn so you're sure that it's not stuck or glued down. And that's pretty much it. If you like this uh, tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give it a like that will motivate me to make more content for you and tutorials to finish your work and make it more gorgeous than it's already is also i have my own helping group on facebook 
Meme Design Laser Blasted Etsy. Sorry. Uh, laser Up with Meme Design. Um, and if you want to join, please do so. I'd love to see pictures from your finished work, so make sure to post some. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.